Good morning, grade three, and welcome to our very last lesson on communities around the world. This is our last lesson for this topic in social studies. So next week, we'll be starting our new theme. Today, for the last lesson, we're going to do a little bit of a review on quality of life. Now, you guys did an awesome job doing your review on the facts that you could remember. I was very impressed with all of the things that you remembered about our four different countries, Peru, India, Ukraine, and Tunisia. And today, we're just going to do a little bit of remembering about the different parts of the quality of life in those countries. And then I have a special task for you at the end, where you're going to tell me what is important in your life. So what makes your quality of life better? And it's a special task with instructions at the end of the video, okay? So you're going to do that for me, and then you'll submit your answers to Class Dojo. Let's get started with our review of our different countries and quality of life. Now, I have some pages for you that I will read to you, but you can also read on your own, okay? So let's get started. Okay, everyone, I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see what I'm reading from, but I'm also going to post this onto Class Dojo so that you have access to it there too. And it means that if you miss anything, you can go back and read it too, okay? So I'm not going to read exactly what it says because I'm kind of going to talk around it as well, okay? So let's start with India and quality of life in India. And the first thing I want to talk about is healthcare. So in India, um, it's very hard to find healthcare, and it's kind of different based on where you live. So if you're living in the countryside, it's hard to find hospitals and doctors because you're kind of far away from everywhere. And if you live in the city, which can also be called an urban area, you might be able to find hospitals and doctors, but you might not be able to afford them. That means you might not be able to have enough money to pay to see a doctor or to go to the hospital. Okay, now there are some places where you might work that they will give you health insurance, but it's very rare. That means it hardly ever happens. So there are lots of people that end up not being able to see doctors because they can't afford it. Employment in India, it says employment, in India's unemployment rate in 2019, that means people who didn't have a job in 2019 was 6.1%. That means, imagine if there was a room of 100 people, six of those people would not have a job, okay? And that can kind of be difficult, right? Because we, you go to work to do your job so that you get money, so that you can afford the things that you want and need. You can buy food and clothes and have a nice place to live. Uh, the roles of the family in India are important because most of your big choices in life will be decided by your parents if you were living in India or if you were from an Indian family. So they would probably choose your career and they might choose who you're going to marry when you grow up. Okay? And the father is the leader of the family and the mother takes care of the household. So in rural areas, the father does all the heavy work like plowing the fields, clearing the trees and building homes, and women harvest and gather food. Okay, so that's India, quality of life in India. Now let's go to Tunisia. So in Tunisia, the quality of life around healthcare is a little bit tricky because there aren't very many hospitals. And it means that people can't go to the hospital if they get sick. Imagine there's only one hospital for every 61,000 people. So 61,000 people are trying to go to the hospital. They only have one hospital to go to. So you can imagine that it's very crowded and there's less care given than in other countries. Not just Canada. It says Canada in this text, but in the UAE too. We probably have better health care here. So it's very expensive to see a doctor and if you get sick, you just can't afford to go to the hospital, which means that you're probably going to be sick on your own in your house, which isn't great. The unemployment rate in Tunisia is very high also. It's 15.4%. So that means, imagine if there was a room of 100 people, 15 or 16 of them wouldn't have a job. 
So that means many people cannot afford cannot find jobs in the country and that means they have no money to come into their household that means they have no income which means that there are lots of people who are homeless and hungry in Tunisia now there's a little bit of information about schools and gender roles that means the difference between the work that men do and the work that women do that you can continue to read on if you'd like I'm going to move on to the Ukraine now. So in the Ukraine, the healthcare system is not working. That's what it says here. Many of the citizens can't afford treatment they need. So it's the same as in India and as in Tunisia. It's really expensive to go to the doctor and people can't afford to go and see doctors. So there are lots of people whose quality of life is suffering in Ukraine because of the poor healthcare system. The unemployment rate in the Ukraine is 9.2%, which is kind of high. And the unemployment rate does not factor in people who do not want jobs. That means that nine people out of 100 just can't find a job. It's not that they don't want to work, it's that they can't find a job. That's a problem for quality of life too, because as we've already discussed, it means you can't buy the things that you need and you want. Now there's a little bit more on gender roles as well. And I think you'll remember that we talked about lots of people living in the same house in the Ukraine. So you can read a little bit more about that if you would like. And the last country that we're going to discuss is Peru. So the Peruvian healthcare system is set up so that everybody has access to free healthcare. And it doesn't matter how much money you make. The only problem is that the hospitals are super busy and it means that you have to wait a long time to see a doctor. You know, I'm from the UK and it's kind of like that there because we have free health care. We get to go to the doctor for free, but it means that there's lots of waiting time. It can take a long time to see a doctor. So it's the same in Peru. Unemployment in Peru is 4.5%, which is really good actually. The main industries that Peruvians work in are fishing, mining, agriculture, livestock, and tourism. Okay, I bet you remember that children are expected to start school at six and stay until they're 16, and school is free in Peru. So there's some more information about schools and about families in Peru that you can read on if you like. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is your challenge. So I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to demonstrate it. So here's my explanation. I have laid out 15 things on this page and you are going to choose 10 of them that you think are important for your quality of life. Now I've chosen my 10 and I'm going to show you them. And then once I've chosen my 10, I'm going to decide which ones are most important and which ones are least important. And I'm going to make a triangle diagram with them. And I'm going to show you how that works. Let's talk through them so that you understand what they are. So healthcare, that's doctors and hospitals and medicine. Family life, so living with your family, thinking about having your family close to you, living in a house with your family. Is that important in your life? Do you think that makes you feel happy? Is that something that's important? Is healthcare, getting to a doctor in case you get sick, is that important for you? Schools and education, think about it. Is it important that you go to school or do you think it's not important? Do you think it's important for your life to go to university after school or college? You get to decide, what do you think? Then I've got mobile phones, laptops and tablets. I want you to really think about it. Is that something that is important in your life? Is it something you really need? And is it going to make you happy in your life? Next one is access to food shops. I think that's kind of important because I guess you need food to be able to survive, right? So is access to food shops important for your life? Access to clothes shops. Think about it. Do you need to be able to go to clothes shops for you to be happy and successful in your life? 
What about traveling? Is traveling important in your quality of life? Or spending time with your friends? Is that something that makes you happy and makes you feel happy in your life? Entertainment. So I'm going to move my little face out of the way. Because in entertainment, I put cinemas, theme parks, water parks, things like that is what I'm thinking about when I say entertainment. Okay, so you decide, is that something that's really important in your life? Is it something that makes you feel happy and is successful in your life? And then I have restaurants. Is that important? Does that add to your quality of life? Having a car. Think about it. Is that important? What does that let you do if you have a car? What does it give you access to doing in your life? Netflix. Is Netflix important in your life? Think about it. Does it affect your quality of life? Now remember, there's no right or wrong answer. This is just for you to think about and then you can explain why you decided that. Good jobs. Are good jobs important? So when you grow up, is it important that you have a good job so that you can earn money so that you can have a good quality of life? Is it important that your parents have a job? Maybe one person in your family has a job so that you can have all of the nice things that you have in your life. Access to books. Are books important to you? Could you survive without them? Think about how they affect your quality of life. And last but not least, money. Is money important? Do you need to have lots of it to have a good quality of life? Or can you just have a little bit of money to have a good quality of life? So my friends, I want you to think about all of those things that I just shared with you and you're going to choose 10 of them. And now I'm going to explain to you the 10 that I chose and I'm going to demonstrate what you're going to do with them, okay? So let's go to my choices. Okay, friends, here we are. These are the ones that I chose. I chose 10 that I thought were important. So I have entertainment, access to food shops, traveling, healthcare, family life, schools and education, access to books, good jobs, spending time with friends and having a car. Now, remember like I told you, there is no right or wrong answer. You guys get to decide what you feel would be important for your life. And then, now that I've got all of these here, I'm going to start thinking about what is the most important thing in my life that makes me feel happy and safe and healthy, okay? So I think I'm going to choose family life as the, the most important thing to me. And then I'm probably going to choose healthcare next. And I think access to food shops because without healthcare, if I was to get sick, then I wouldn't have anyone to help me. And access to food shops is important because we need to eat to survive, right? So I put the most important thing at the top and then my two next important things here. And then these are the ones that I have left. So I'm going to look at these. What will I decide next? I guess, I think I'm going to choose schools and education because I think they are really important for being able to have a successful life and learn how to do new things. And then I think I'm going to put good jobs because I'm really lucky that I have the most amazing job in the world. And it means that I am happy every day when I go to school. I'm happy every day when I see all of your smiling faces. And it also means I have money to be able to have a good life. Okay, so another thing that is really important to me is spending time with my friends. So I think I'm going to put that next. So this was most important, family life. Then my next important was healthcare and access to food shops. And then I chose schools, good jobs, and spending time with my friends. Those are things that I feel are important in my life. And then I have these four left over, and I'm just gonna put them at the bottom of my triangle. So can you see, I've made a triangle with my items and these are the things that I have chosen for me. But remember, my friends, you get to choose what works for you. So you don't have to choose the same ones as me. You can choose any way of making your triangle that you like. And remember, you need 10 of my ideas to put into your triangle. 
Once you've done this, I want you to take a photo of your triangle and you can send it to your teacher on Class Dojo. Now, I have a special challenge. If you do your triangle and you submit it to your teacher, that's you've done your work. But if you want to take part in the challenge, I want you to explain why you chose this one as number one. So whatever you have here, whatever it says up here on your triangle, maybe you could explain why you chose it and why it means so much to you. That's a special challenge. Now you can do that, you can send us a message or you can send a video or you can send just audio on Class Dojo, anything you like if you want to do the challenge. Remember, it's a challenge, so it's optional. You can decide if you want to do it. Okay, my friends, I think we've looked at my triangle enough. I am so excited to see what you come up with. Good luck for your learning today.